celebrate other people, but when we don't celebrate Maddie, it turns into... It celebrates everybody. Oh, okay. You talked about Chloe. Christy's taking Chloe out of school and then... No comment? No deflection? You talk about my daughter all the time. You talk about the way Abby Beaver's house. I'm not going to take it. You are a troublemaker. I'm not the liar of the group. Sorry. And that's on period. She said, like, you lied about my daughter cheating. I didn't lie, you told her you cheated! I did not! You told her that! I did not! I'm not doing this anymore. Who lies all the time? Okay. You We haven't used that one yet. This is gonna be a big week for Kendall, so I want her to look amazing. I know that Abby says a costume doesn't make a number, but it helps. And if I'm willing to pay the money and spend the time and hire a designer, Abby won't be able to overlook it. Hide the money, y'all! There's poor people around! <laughs> with your broke ass! <laughs> I don't have costumes that... Haven't been worn with Abby. Did Abby design it or did she leave it up to you to design it? Abby asked everyone to have their costumes done for today. I can't believe Jill doesn't have hers. Jill, what are you doing? Did you show her the picture of it? Mm. But I thought you had one made. I don't have it. I'm arrested! I'm going to dismiss you. Kendall, I don't think you'll be doing your solo. Your mother was to have that costume here today. I can have a costume, they told me they have it! You're idiots if you stay and let this woman destroy your children. I have some news. Chloe is gonna miss rehearsal tonight. Oh! And I have not told Abby. I sent her away on her school field trip that's overnight. I think me telling Abby that Chloe's not gonna be in rehearsal tonight is gonna go down like the Titanic. We're ready to start rehearsal. I walk into the den to gather the girls. Late last night, I decided to let Chloe go on her school field trip. She's not there this evening. She'll be back tomorrow morning. We've got a big weekend. Do they not want to go to Starbound this weekend? Why didn't she tell me yesterday? Because she didn't know. I think you knew she was going all the time. And you want to make it seem like you made this last minute decision. No, I didn't. I'm gonna pretend you didn't call my dog. I am a nervous wreck. I think she'll be fine, but it's still stressful for me. We did something that was completely unexpected. All right, let's talk about our trios. So, Bryn, congratulations. She led her team to victory. You were the highest scoring duet trio. Now, you are a member of this team. Abby, how do you really feel about moms who don't necessarily agree with the way the results went automatically questioning? Why don't you just stop? You, all you want is drama here. Why don't we just go on with pyramid? We're talking about the You guys never once put in take into account that this kid has feelings too, ever. You're just jealous that Bryn has had a better season than Kendall. It's all over social media. It doesn't. You're not allowed to speak or look at my child. I wasn't talking to either of you. I'm not dealing with this. I care about her feelings. So much that she has to tear down every kid to make hers feel good. I have not torn down kids, Jim. Oh, you do. You're the one who tears down kids every day. Uh, you're not out there, Kendall, so you don't know. Excuse me, Abby, I am not allowing this. <laughs> my child like that. <laughs> I'm done. I'm leaving. Goodbye. This is absolutely nuts. When a mother talks about you, it's really not okay. And now that I'm becoming older and more mature, I have a voice and I'm going to use it.